In this video we complete our uh, work on the listing tab. Yay! <laughs> and uh, it's very similar to the last video actually. In the last video we hooked uh, pane 1 to the tree view pane and we did that by varying the SQL and in this one we're going to hit, hook the uh, tree view pane to the list view pane and the way we ultimately want it to work and once again we're doing that by uh, creating variable SQL so if we double click on the uh, tree view pane you notice uh, one of the first things we do in the after select of the tree view is we clear out the list view and then once again we have SQL where we have a fixed portion that's always going to be the same and then we have a variable portion based on conditions and in the fixed portion we're selecting uh, title name from location name from genre scene from DVDs and DVD ID from DVDs and we're doing a join of the location table and the genre table on location ID and genre ID respectively and that's always going to be the same because we always need a large table that's a combination of those three tables so we can show the symbolic names of location and genre but then in the variable part what we do is we get the uh, tree view event args e which is past the uh, node that's been selected when we click on the uh, tree view specific node and we get the node.txt to string in order to check what the actual string was that we clicked on and if it's the very top one it'll be list all DVDs and if it's list all DVDs we don't want to do anything because basically all we want is this base code plus the order by uh, title that comes after this base code so this if basically skips all the variable information and just does the fixed code in order to show all the records but if it's not list all DVDs it means we selected a genre or we selected a location and that means uh, we can query the uh, uh, finite state automaton class and get the state and then I made those states public in order so we can select on them but we have to use the full class name and then dot and the symbolic name for the state you can't use the uh, object name you have to use the full class name because in effect we're getting static information from the class and once we've done that we do uh, e dot node dot tag to string in order to get the um, ID that's associated with the string we clicked on and that's because we need to use the uh, actual number rather than the uh, uh, symbolic name and then we add a where clause that says l dot location id equals that number and not seen so it, within the joined records we're getting only those where the uh, location is set to that value in the case of the unseen state and in the we're also checking that it's uh, unseen so these are all the locations that have that tag or that location ID that are not seen and then we just get rid of the not seen part for the location all state so that'll get all the locations that uh, have are associated with this location name and print those out in the uh, tree view and we do essentially the same thing for the genre for the genre unseen we get the tag value in order to get the ID value of the genre we clicked on and then we look for all the records that have that ID value all the joined records and also that are not seen and then we just look for the genre ID records for the all genres that are that uh, ID value. So if we compile and run this, better save it first. I'm not sure what I changed, but
Oh, I forgot to start the WAMP uh, uh, server, so I don't have the web server or the database server running, so I better fix that. Go down and start the uh, WAMP server. And once that turns to green, we should be good to go. So if I compile and run this, and we uh, get the listings, and say I get all genres that, whether seen or not, and click on this on the tree, and say I get all of them that are, uh, I don't know, what's a good one? Probably science fiction. Oh, unfortunately, I've seen all the science fictions. In a way, I'm not surprised. Uh, romance, seen all those, old time serial, monster, oh there's one monster I haven't seen. That's because it looked really stupid. It's called Monsters Beware. So these are all the uh, monster DVDs I have. So if I click on uh, Unseen and click on Monster we see we get just that one record that's not seen and has the ID associated with Monster Beware. And we can do the same thing with location. These are all the locations that have unseen values. And these are all the unseen DVDs I have within this location. And if we unclick this and click on Movie 1, we'll see all the DVDs whether they've been seen or not that I have in that location which needless to say is quite a few more I have too much time on my hands and I watch a lot of DVDs well I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and uh, learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe